They definitely know way more than we know. How do you know that? Tell me what's in Area 51. You don't know. It's a prevention program. <laughs> Clearly aliens. I'll see you at the raid. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up? My name is Keegan. I'm 21 years old and I'm a student. Hey, my name is Max. I'm 18 years old and I'm also a student. My name is Kyle. I'm 19 and I'm a student as well. Do you believe that life exists beyond our own planet? Three, two, one. There's millions of different universes always expanding. To think that we're the only ones is kind of just crazy. There's just so much out there that we don't know about. We don't even know about our own planet completely. There's definitely life that exists. You have to imagine that there's more stuff out there than just like humans and just animals. Do you think that they are less or more advanced than people? I think it's just varied. Everyone's at different stages. I think less. You think about how we've been to like the moon and we've been to, you know, we've been to Mars. We haven't been to Mars yet. We put stuff there. <laughs> we'll also say if they were coming to our universe, then they would be more advanced because we haven't been to right. their universe. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there have been things that, you know, have come to our universe, our galaxy. From one to five, how likely is it that we've already been visited by aliens? One, two, three. I put two and not one because it's possible that we wouldn't know. If they haven't came already, then all of this alien like talk and like Area 51, I feel like that probably wouldn't exist. But at the same time, like if they did tell everyone, then people would freak out because then that puts into question religion and everything like that. So. so from one to five, one being least likely, five being most likely, how likely is it that the government knows more about aliens than we do? Three, two, one. Gonna have to hit you with that six again. <laughs> There's so much that the government has not told us, it's hiding from us. So many different conspiracy theories. I don't know, Area 51's a prime example. Like, mm -hmm. why do we still not know what's in it? Same with the John F. Kennedy, like, exactly. papers. Wasn't Donald Trump gonna release them, and then all of a sudden he, like, put them back 10 years? 50 years. 50 years. That's, like, minimal compared to, like, another whole entire universe. Right. I think they probably know a little bit. I get that they keep things from us, like that obviously makes sense, but like they tell you a little bit. They give you a little piece. They right. don't give you. But at the same time, like they're still learning. Otherwise, we would have the same technology. Yeah, learning, but they don't know. Yeah, but they definitely come in contact with things and they definitely know way more than we know. How do you know that? Tell me what's in Area 51. You don't know. It's a prevention program. <laughs> Clearly, aliens. I'll see you at the raid. <laughs> <laughs> Draw the first thing that comes to mind when you think of alien. <laughs> I don't see why like everyone has this like definite image of aliens. What's to say that they're like green and long and like lanky? Like what there's if they're, no what if they're not? Like there's that? definitely like different species of. It's just you know, weird just... because like they just seem like inhuman when in reality I feel like if there were aliens they'd probably be more human like than we would imagine. But if they're living in with different like atmospheres and stuff, I don't think they'd look the same. If... True, but I don't. I just wouldn't see them being green with. Big heads. I don't know, I just drew what media shows you. I drew like the little gray guy with the black eyes who's got like the lobular head. Has there been a specific case or video you've seen online that has been like the most convincing to you? Like it could be real. I'm from Arizona, so Phoenix Lights is like a huge thing in Arizona. I mean, it seems pretty real. Phoenix Lights is this thing that happened, I think it was 2001. There was like a bunch of lights in the sky and they like resembled UFOs and like people were freaking out. These distinct lights that made this barrier in the sky that people saw in California, saw in Arizona, like white and blue and purple. And then there was like a spinning thing inside of it. SpaceX like said that they had shot a rocket, but it wasn't on their calendar till like after. Yeah, see, and that's the thing I was thinking too. Like, wouldn't they warn people, be like, don't right. freak out, They're, we're shooting a rocket in right. the air? So they like, announced they're it. shooting it till after. Like, I feel like everything that i kind of seen is just like blurry, like 100p footage. Like, you literally can't tell what's going on. It's just like a gray blob, and they're like, oh my god, it's an alien. From one to five, one being least likely, five being most likely, how likely is it that we will make contact with aliens in your lifetime? And three, two, one. 
Well, there's definitely been contact before, but at the same time, like, I don't know if I personally will be in contact with aliens, but I, I do think that we're going to start receiving more information within our lifetime, especially when this Area 51 raid, and just the people are demanding some <laughs> some answers here, so. Yeah, I put a three. I think it's possible that there's contact by the end of our lifetimes. So I think it's probably, like, likely that there's got to be some sort of contact that, like, we'll know about by the time we go. What percent of people living in America do you think believe in UFOs? All of America, not like the Midwest and then the West Coast. <laughs> Three, two, one. The answer was uh, 80 million or roughly like 36% of Americans. Ooh. Do, you think you guys are pretty do you believe in abductions? There's this like reputation that when you say aliens and you start talking about aliens, like, oh, I saw an alien, like people look at you and you're like, damn, like you're crazy. Like that's not real. Ghosts people have encounters with, aliens, it's way more rare. Thank you guys so much. You guys did great. Cool. How was it? Who do you think is the most likely of you guys to be an alien? Look at his hair. Look at his hair. His voice, his voice, yeah.